Okay, hi everybody. I want to take a look uh, at a, just a quick video here about squaring a binomial. I want to address the big issue that pops up here. Um, I want to show you two different things here. I'm going to show you, we're going to go a times b squared, and we're going to look at a plus b squared. Now with a times b squared, what that means is I've got a times b multiplied by a times b. Okay, and so because the, everything's multiplied together, I can drop the parentheses. And then because of the commutative law, I can swap the position of those two factors right there. And this becomes a times a times b times b, or a squared times b squared. And so ultimately what has happened here is we're seeing that the square here gets distributed to both of those factors here. That is not the same rule when it comes to squaring a binomial, okay? Because when I square a binomial a plus b, I get a plus b multiplied by a plus b. And then what happens is, is each of the terms in the first binomial gets distributed to each of the terms in the second binomial. And so I get a times a is a squared plus a times b plus b times a, which I'm going to again write as a times b, and then plus b times b, and I get b squared. So this becomes a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This is not a squared plus b squared. That is an extremely common mistake, okay? Uh, and, it's, and it's really frustrating for, for teachers when, when students kind of repeatedly do that, okay? Uh, and I've, I've worked with students where we go from like one question to the next and the same thing pops up again and they, they, they forget because the, the, I guess the temptation from doing it this way is so strong that's, that people just kind of automatically want to do it that way and distribute the exponent, but you don't. So let's just take a look at a couple problems here. Let's say that I have 3x plus 1, and I want to square that, okay? That is going to become 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1, in which case I'm going to get 9x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 1, and then I can add those two middle terms together to get 6x plus 1. Now, at a certain point here, I should be able to take a bit of a shortcut. Let's say this becomes, um, let's make it 5x uh, plus 4, and I'm squaring it. Eventually, what you're going to see, and you're going to get used to, is that middle term is simply two times the product of the, the two terms in the binomial. So the first term is the square, so it's going to be 25x squared. My last term is the square, 16. And then the middle term is going to be twice the product of those two. Well, 5 times 4 is 20 times 2 is 40. So that middle term will become 40x. And then if I throw, for example, a negative in there, and let's say that this is going to be 2x minus 7 squared, I get the same sort of a thing here, 2x minus 7, 2x minus 7, okay? I'm going to distribute that through. I'll get 4x squared minus 14x minus 14, whoops, x plus 49. And again, those two middle terms are going to combine to get me negative 28x plus 49. So again, that middle term is double the product of the, the two terms in that binomial. So I can take a bit of a shortcut now. And let's say that this was simply, let's just make it um, x minus 5. I'll just make it an easy one here. So this will become x squared. The last term here will become plus 25. The middle term is going to be double the product here. So x times negative 5 is negative 5 times 2 is negative 10x. And that's how you would square binomials.